Do blue whales eat sharks? Blue whales are magnificent creatures with unique dietary needs. Let's explore whether they consume whale sharks or sharks in general. Blue whales are considered filter feeders, a feeding method in which they extract their nourishment from water. This means that they don't actively hunt sharks or other large marine species like killer whales. Instead, their primary sustenance comes from krill. Furthermore, as baleen whales, they lack teeth. Instead, their baleen plates serve as strainers, allowing them to filter krill from the water. Because blue whales lack teeth, they aren't equipped to seize and consume potential prey. Therefore, they exclusively focus on krill as their food source. Throat Pleats To maximize the intake of krill, blue whales have developed a unique adaptation in the form of throat pleats. These flexible folds of skin in their throat can expand, creating a sizable pouch capable of holding significant volumes of water. To put this in perspective, more than 100 people could comfortably fit inside a blue whale's mouth. Once the pouch is filled, it takes approximately one minute for the whale to filter the water through its baleen and then expel the water. Blue whales employ their tongues to facilitate this process, pushing water through the baleen located on the upper jaw. This specialized feeding method underscores the fact that blue whales do not target larger predators like great white sharks for their meals. The structure of their esophagus is another indicator of their dietary preference, as it is relatively narrow and suited for consuming small marine creatures. Consequently, they lack the ability to chew and swallow large sharks. What do blue whales eat? Blue whales are renowned for their primary diet consisting of small crustaceans like krill. However, they have occasionally been observed consuming sharks, rays, and even smaller fish, such as small tunny or roosterfish. In practice, blue whales prefer smaller fish, typically ingesting up to four tons of fish per day. The largest blue whales, though, can take in an astonishing six tons of fish within a single day, making them one of the largest fish-eating creatures on the planet. It's important to note that while blue whales generally favor smaller fish, recent reports have indicated a shift in their behavior, particularly in regions where the blue whale population has significantly increased. In some areas, they've been known to attack and consume larger prey, such as sharks. This change in diet has contributed to a rise in their population particularly in the Southern Hemisphere, where they are now considered a potential threat to marine ecosystems. For those residing in the Southern Hemisphere, particularly along the coasts of the Gulf of Mexico and the Pacific Ocean, extra caution is advisable. The Gulf of Mexico, in particular, has become a favored location for blue whales due to their feeding patterns. There have been recent incidents of whales breaching the water, posing risks to boats, including capsizing or sinking. Taking precautionary measures, such as ensuring your vessel is strong enough to navigate past a blue whale and promptly contacting the Coast Guard when a whale is spotted in the area is essential for safety. Furthermore, blue whales' interactions with fisheries present another significant facet of their diet. As most blue whales feed in deep waters, intruding into these regions or discharging firearms can significantly increase the risk of confrontations with these enormous creatures. It's not only fishing gear that poses a threat, even smaller fisheries can inadvertently harm these majestic animals. Reports have documented fishery vessels intentionally colliding with whales, often leading to severe injuries or fatalities. This disconcerting trend may persist, given that studies indicate a growing impact of human activities on marine animals. While some anticipate an increase in the number of blue whales in the future as the climate stabilizes, it's crucial to acknowledge the potential consequences of human actions. Overfishing, for instance, has precipitated a sharp decline in the populations of pelicans and other pelagic birds in the past decade. Without measures to counteract this declining trend, an imbalance in the marine animal population may occur, with some species disappearing while others proliferate. Thanks for watching this video. For more interesting videos and information, keep watching Z Facts.